Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about the Teapot Dome scandal. There is a long-standing distrust of politicians in American society, a distrust based on numerous examples of corruption, malfeasance, and graft. One of the most significant political scandals in American history occurred during the presidential administration of Warren G. Harding in the early 1920s. Prior to the U.S. entry into the First World War, the government was concerned about setting aside strategic oil reserves for the use of the Navy. Therefore, three untapped oil fields, Elk Hills and Buena Vista Hills in California and Teapot Dome in Wyoming, were placed under the jurisdiction of the Department of the Navy. In 1921, a few months into Harding's administration, the Secretary of the Interior, Albert B. Fall, an old poker buddy of Harding's, convinced the President to transfer control of those oil reserves from the Navy Department to the Interior Department. Once he had control of the oil fields, Fall secretly leased the reserves to two private oil companies. The California fields were leased to the Pan American Petroleum Company, headed by Edward Do Doheny, while the Teapot Dome Reserve was leased to the Mammoth Oil Company, led by Harry Sinclair. Both Doheny and Sinclair were friends of the Secretary. Though technically legal, these leases allowed private companies to exploit federally owned, strategically important resources for private profit. In return, Fall was given cash, loans, and other gifts by Doheny and Sinclair. In all, Fall received about $400,000 from his friends. With his newly ill-gotten wealth, Fall began spending money far beyond his means. He bought up land in New Mexico and cattle for his ranch, and soon people began to ask questions. In April 14, 1922, the Wall Street Journal reported on the Teapot Dome lease. The next day, the Senate called for an inquiry into Fall and the oil reserve arrangements. For his part, Harding tried to protect his Secretary of the Interior, but felt betrayed by his friend. In 1923, beset by the growing political controversy, the President left on a cross-country tour. While in California in August 1923, he suffered a massive heart attack and died. Harding's successor, Calvin Coolidge, had no loyalty to Fall and did not attempt to impede the Senate investigation. On October 15, 1923, hearings began. Over the next several months, the Senate committee gathered evidence against the Secretary of the Interior. Eventually, in January 1924, Doheny admitted to loaning $100,000 to Fall. As a result, Fall was forced to resign his office. This was not the end of the affair, however. In October 1927, Harry Sinclair was tried on charges of conspiring to defraud the United States. Though the case ended in a mistrial, he was sentenced to six months in prison for jury tampering and contempt of court. One year later, in October 1928, Fall was put on trial for accepting bribes. Evidence presented by his own son-in-law eventually condemned him, and he was imprisoned for a year. Because of the Teapot Dome scandal, Albert Fall gained the dubious distinction of being the first cabinet secretary to be sent to prison. A few others would eventually follow. And a bit of historical irony, in 2015, the Department of Energy sold the oil field at Teapot Dome, this time legally and to the highest bidder. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.